The moon is so bright tonight. I haven't seen it in months, years. I felt unusually optimistic. I began to realize that during the past 22 years, I've been in the dark, but now I must be extremely careful. There's no moon tonight. This worries me. I went outside today for the first time in so long. They stood there, gawking at me, afraid of me, in awe of me. Talking about me in hushed tones, they made every hair on my body stand on it. Some sneered at me. I know their plan is complete. This makes my stomach turn. I had to keep moving past them, so they would see that I'm not afraid of them. I came upon the children, they knew. That same fear in their eyes, set in ghastly white faces. They too talked about me. What would make them fear me just like the others? I can't help myself. I must know. Tell me! They ran off, probably to tell the others about me. The adults must know about me, but the children would not know. Why then do they too stare at me? with fear in their eyes, as if they want to murder me. I know. Their parents have told them. I can't sleep anymore. It all makes perfect sense if you consider it correctly. Several days ago, a man came to speak with my brother. They could not see me listening to them. I told my brother about a bad individual who had been beaten to death. Some people took his heart, his liver, cooked them and ate them in order to increase their courage. When I interrupted them, they both stared at me. It was only now that I realized they looked at me the same way the others did. It makes me sick at just the thought. They eat human beings, so they may eat me. They don't know it but they have given themselves away. I realize all the poison in their speech, all the daggers in their laughter. Their teeth are covered in blood. They are all man-eaters. All of it requires careful consideration in order to understand it. It is my understanding that in ancient times, it was common for people to eat one another. However, my memory comes and goes these days. Every book I opened had the words, eat people, scribbled on each page. I no longer sleep, I read instead. Tonight I realized that every book I read had these words, eat people. Between the lines, every book is filled with these words. I too am a man and they want to eat me. They brought me lunch today, steak, just like me, there for the slaughter. They look at me like livestock. After a few mouthfuls, I couldn't tell whether it was a cow meat or human meat. I forced it up. The man from the other day came to see me today. My brother said he was a doctor. The man had murder in his eyes. I knew this man was hired to kill me so my brother would not have to go to the trouble. He pretended to check my pulse, but I know he was checking to see how fat I am. No doubt he is receiving part of my flesh as payment. But I was not afraid of him, of any of them. All right, don't let your imagination run away with you. Just rest quietly a couple of days and you'll be all right. Rest so I can grow fat and tender. How can I rest knowing what they plan to do to me? How can it be all right? I could not help but to fall on the floor, <laughs> roaring with laughter. I knew that through my laughter, they would see my courage. The color ran out of their faces. They were in awe of my courage. They were afraid of me. They see my bravery, and that makes me even more appetizing to them. They want to eat me and gain my courage. I heard my brother and the doctor agreeing that I must be eaten immediately. We must kill my brother and eat his delicious flesh.
My brother is conspiring to kill me and eat me. My brother is an eater of human flesh. I know them, and what they're thinking. I know that they don't want to kill anyone. They fear what might happen if they do. No, instead, they have set traps for me to force me to kill myself. I know this because of the way they act, especially my brother. He is the main conspirator in my death. Someone came into my room today. He was my age. He stood in shadow. I could only see his white teeth glaring at me from behind his smile. It seemed fake. I asked him, is it right to eat human beings? But no one is starving. How can they eat human beings? I realized he was one of them. I asked him the question again so he would know I wasn't afraid. Is it right? Why would you ask that? You're very funny. Isn't it a nice day? Yes, it is. And the sun is very bright. But I wanted to ask you, is it right? No. Then why do they do it? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Everywhere they eat people. Look around you. It's in the books, written in blood. It may be that way, but it has always been that way. Does it make it right just because it's always been that way? I'm not talking about this anymore, and you shouldn't talk about this either. Whoever talks about this is wrong. I jumped up, but he was gone. I was soaked with sweat. He was much younger than my brother, but he was still one of them. His parents must have taught him. This is why the children looked at me with murder in their eyes. The sun doesn't shine anymore. The door doesn't open. I'm brought two meals every day. I began to eat, and I thought of my brother. I know how my sister died. It was because of him. I can't bear to think of it. I have only realized that I have been living all these years in a place where for 4,000 years they have been eating human flesh. My brother had just taken over the charge of the house where our sister died, and he may well have used her flesh in our food, making us eat it unwittingly. How can a man like myself, after thousands of years of men eating human flesh, even though I knew nothing about it at first, how can I ever hope to change them? Perhaps there are still children who have not eaten human flesh. Save the children. I was biting the time zone And we embellished the banks of our bloodstreams And from caution to the hollow